You know what I really don't enjoy? People not getting to the point. <laughs> First of all, was the course worth it? Yes. Would I recommend this course to a beginner? No. I would basically say that you should maybe do a few cover competitions or at least get a little bit of experience in machine learning algorithms and how they work. Would I recommend this to someone who has had previous experience with machine learning? Yes, this is definitely the course for you. Would I recommend this to someone who has already experience in machine learning? Yes, and simply because the deployment through AWS is worth a lot. The difficulty, I found it to be moderately difficult. It wasn't easy piece for me at least, but I can see people who have been even more engaged in kind of competitions or just know more about machine learning could maybe do this even quicker than I did. How long did the course take? Well, it's supposed to take three months. However, there's only a few hours per week in that estimation. So I did it in roughly two to three weeks. What were the projects? Well, it's basically four different themes. The first project was not obligatory, but uh, it was a good project for me at least who wanted to upload a package to PyPy where we used a binomial and normal distribution package that we created and then uploaded to the PyPy network and yeah basically a simple project but if you're like moderate Python developer I would suggest to skip this step. Second program was a sentiment analysis basically you get a web application that you create you put in a text and then basically the program tells it if it's negative or positive in our case we used it for IMDB reviews and to say if it was a positive or negative review uh, this was quite fun it was a few lines of code that you have to create yourself you don't create the whole program from scratch and it was to me pretty interesting the third project was basically a plagiarism detector same thing as the previous project you don't do it from scratch but it was still interesting to do the thing I liked the most about project 2 and 3 was basically that we uploaded it through AWS and deployed it there as well uh, which is kind of fun to mention if you're going to like a machine learning engineer interview later on that you have actually been experienced in deploying applications through AWS. And then finally the fourth project was basically like a free-for-all, throw in whatever you like. For me I went to Kaggle and did the Walmart uh, sales prediction competition. What made the last final project pretty damn interesting was basically if you would compare this Kaggle competition if I did it by myself versus when I did it through this nano degree, it was basically that you get someone to give you feedback on each step and that was to me pretty damn nice. What's the best tip I can give for this course overall? I would say there's a checklist that you will see what they will actually check for each assignment. Check that list, make sure that you've simply correctly at least given a worthy shot of answering that question or that assessment and just follow that structure. For example, in the final project they asked about how you actually tuned your models. So just tune your models before you send it in. If you don't even answer the question and try to answer the question, they will not pass you. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Cheers.